day. Cal forever here. Leaving the dance. I kind of want to stay. But I think I got to leave. Man. I just kind of wanted to talk about more of the isolation and being a hermit. And it's like... <laughs> things just aren't really that enjoyable or it's like you know I did kind of enjoy dancing but I'm not necessarily like feeling it and I think it's just part of changing so much and shifting so much why am I making this video maybe I need to not make videos right now but anyways I like but you know even though I may not be feeling it it's like well I'm out of the house I'm dancing I'm around people yeah you know but also it's like that's a bar it's kind of toxic it's people all back smoking it smelled like marijuana <laughs> no I, I don't smoke pot but you know Pot's not, pot's way better than probably drinking. Man, the stars are amazing. Come to Earth. What? <laughs> See, now I'm not like, I feel like I'm oh, connecting with my life partner. Maybe I'll go back to the dance now. Ah, what am I doing? I'm just wandering in the streets now. You probably can't see. <laughs> I'm just, I'm wandering this way now. Maybe I just need to go for a walk. Like, uh, why is do I, the frustration, confusion, pain, anxiety. Um, you know, all of these things that are, come, all of these symptoms, side effects of shifting and realigning moving into the heart, moving through the fourth dimension into the fifth. I gotta pee. I'm just like, I wanna go pee over by this tree. Dude, <laughs> I not post this on Facebook. Man, being there, or YouTube, should I not post this on YouTube? <laughs> being there, it's just like, I feel like I wanna drink. I feel like I want to smoke cigarettes, and it's like, I don't do these things. And I was dancing with someone, and then I was talking with them out behind the bar, and they're like, oh man, my knees hurt, and it's like, oh, maybe that's why my knees hurt, because I'm a young 28 year old, I don't have knee problems. Like, this is like, it is so hard to be normal right now it is so hard to be normal why is it so hard to be normal with everything I just said that's why that's why it's so hard to be normal it's like parts of us are like leaving our body going into hyper time going into the Akashic records changing coming back in we're shifting so much like I said in my last video our perceptions changing just like like you know it's like whoa that tree looks a certain way two minutes later whoa that tree looks like a completely completely different my perception of reality just changed i this thing i was interested in 10 minutes ago no longer interests me or i get there and it's like ah part of me does enjoy it part of me doesn't it's like frustrating confusing whatever but I think I've rambled on too much. I feel like I'm posting too many videos. I feel like like no one watches my videos. Like, oh, I hope no one watches my videos because I said something too personal or something I shouldn't have said or that video wasn't that great. And like, you know, healthy criticism, like discernment, like, <sighs> these stars are beautiful. I feel like I want to cry and this ain't my energy. And I feel like I swear, this is my future life partner. I know who this person is. 
It feels like they're next to me, just loving me. And I could feel their energy just enveloping the entire room and tuning into tuning into what where I was at and she's probably like meditating and like bumping music electronic music people dancing drinking what's what's Calvin doing <laughs> I don't know and then I can do the same thing to her it's like oh piano feeling these emotions rawness why do I see these piano keyboard keys Oh, then she posts something on Facebook of her singing a song on the piano. Like, am I making this up? I mean, I'm seeing these visions for real. But it's like, am I making it up that it's this person? And it's like, ugh. And so I'm just like, the eternal, I don't know. But this is what it feels like. These are my visions. This is what my experience is. Whether I'm right or wrong... I have hope, I have faith that things will turn out for the better. And these are experiences of growth, these are experiences of change and transition. Please be kind to me, life. I really want to work hard to make money for myself to stand on my own two feet. But I want to be of service and I want to have a career that matches my throat singing and my spirituality in my interests and my passions I don't want to settle for something mundane but I'm okay with doing that actually because I'm thinking about working at this crystal store if something opens up I think that would be pretty fun and create structure in my life and I feel like I'm ready for something like that where I was so resistant to that before and I feel like I'm making these videos because I just want to express this. I want to get this out. Instead of just speaking it to my guides or into the air or the cosmos or to my roommate or whoever. Because I don't even want feedback. Like, I don't want advice from you. I just want to blah, express. Which a lot of the things I've been saying in this video are kind of with what Matt Kahn has been saying recently in his teachings finding this coherence between the heart and the brain dropping into the gut for full integration uh, it's tough to be alive right now it's so enjoyable and fun and adventurous and exhilarating to be alive it's painful to be alive it's like all these mixed things of everything the polarities of life in like one day you're great the next it's like ah, one morning you're blissful and this and that and it's like no I don't have bipolar this is like energy this is like shifts in consciousness this is like not schizophrenia this is this is extrasensory perception and it's scary being in a world that can label you and medicate you and misunderstand you. It sucks because that's what I recently went through. And I'd gone through that my whole life. Oh, you have autistic spectrum disorder. You're Tourette syndrome and OCD and anxious disorder. And no, I'm not. I'm psychic. I'm energetically sensitive. Keep your chemicals and your drugs away from me because they make me sicker. They make me fat. <laughs> they make me feel like shit. They make me feel weird. They make me hear demonic voices. I've never... Well, I've had that where I've seen like a shadow person over me in sleep paralysis on one medication that was so bad. Like, you know... You know, here in Sedona, the medicine men were, like, saying they were talking to spirits and stuff. And then they took him to the so mental asylum in Jerome. And, like, didn't treat him very well. And, yeah, sure, there's some people that do have bipolar or whatever. Maybe not. Maybe, but, you know, those things probably are true. But us that are going through this awakening, we don't. It's all a misunderstanding. 
someone with a fancy doctorate, entitlement, and prestigious degree, like, oh, you think you're so fucking smart. You know? You think you know how the brain works? You can't balance out your neurochemistry, your psychology with a chemical. You can't do that shit. You're just going to create imbalance after imbalance and treat side effect after side effect until you get to the underlying issue. Maybe it's, maybe it's the way that society and the system is set up that causes bipolar disorder. But when you're out with the natural flows of nature and the planets and the astrology and you realize, oh, that full moon that you went manic on, and I don't have bipolar, by the way, <laughs> but I did have a friend that he did have bipolar in three supermoons in a row. He'd go manic. That has something to say about that. And yeah, I am on the autistic spectrum disorder, but I see that as that I'm a rainbow child, that I'm a crystal child. I see autism as an evolutionary change in my neurological wiring is different, and I have to do things differently, which I think is fucking cool. Because I can see the wind blowing in the sky, I can see beautiful emotions flowing between people. And I say this because I actually do experience that, but I say that because I've watched videos of like low functioning autistic adults or kids on YouTube say that and it's like whoa okay this ain't some some disorder this is the rainbow spectrum of new evolution of mutations that are happening in the human body and science is standing by my side and delving into this we're literally at a point in our cycle of the planet where there's a lot of evolution not just in humans but in the entire ecosystems and life on earth where where when these magnetic pole shifts which they are shifting now they are scientifically proven where these where when the pole shifts there's a lot of extinctions usually and a lot of leaps in evolution almost overnight with all this energy coming in with the weakening of the magnetosphere letting more cosmic energy and life force the flood of the Holy Spirit is upon us right let's build this arc this light body this magnetic electromagnetic field to shield ourselves from radiation the more energy that comes in it strengthens it so Mother Earth's magnetic field gets weaker, but it makes us our stronger. And then the reboot and the recharge. And the awakening of the Merkaba, the Bermuda Triangle, the Devil's Triangle, and the alignment of Kundalini, and the reawakening of the magnetosphere into alignment with these three energy bodies of the Earth. What is it? Something Kaya, something Kaya, Dharma Kaya physical body apparition body da, 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 I don't know don't quote no, that's not correct <laughs> Cal forever here thanks for listening to my ramble my rant and I hope that it helps you this may serve you for the betterment of all sentient beings and I think I might go back over and dance peace <laughs>